A lot of middle developers want to learn how to code faster, but they don't understand it correctly. They think that they need to take shortcuts, create less stable solutions, skip testing and so on. This is not true. This is why by the end of this video I will show you how senior developers are doing it correctly and you can do that too. So you might want to work faster for different reasons, like for example at your job you have a lot of pressure and you just need to deliver your features faster. Or for example you simply want to code less, close your tasks faster, have less stress or have time to do some side project. These are all valid points to try and code faster. But code faster doesn't mean that you are writing your code faster, that you need to think faster or that you need to cut corners. Actually all these things will make you much slower. Because every single time when I tried to cut corners in some feature, at the end I was spending more time to fix bugs just because I didn't implement longer but more stable solution. So the answer here is not to code faster, it is about avoiding rework, because this is exactly what eats all your time. Coding the feature is not difficult, cover all edge cases is difficult. Rewriting your feature from scratch because you didn't understand it correctly is time consuming. So our goal is to just avoid reworking and then we can implement a feature once and in the perfect scenario never touch again. And we are doing that by planning correct architecture even before we touch our editor. And this is exactly what we are doing in my middle to senior frontend bootcamp. We fully plan our project before we even start thinking about writing code. And it helps a lot to avoid more work later. So what should you do before coding? First of all you must in one simple sentence understand what you need to implement. Let's say that we need to implement an image slider inside our project. Secondly, we must write down all our constraints and test cases that our feature must have. After this we also need to spend time and write inputs and outputs that our component needs. Like for example we need to get a list of slide, a width of parent container and so on. Most importantly you need to think about your feature without touching an editor. The problematic that a lot of developers has, they are eager to jump in development. They really want to start typing their code, their fingers are burning. But in reality, the longer you not touch your editor, the less time you will spend writing your code, because you will plan it accordingly. It is simply much easier to remove stuff from your list that you wrote while planning, than removing 100 lines of the code that you already wrote. And there are different ways how you can plan your project or your feature. Some people prefer to use a piece of paper for that. And I prefer to use tools like Excalidraw. It allows you at the bare minimum just write a list what you need to implement. Like add sliders and parent widths as inputs, add change event as output and so on. Additionally you can create some diagrams which allows you to draw and understand deeper how your feature must be implemented. So as a first step here I would write a list of things that my feature needs to cover. It is just a bullet point list, nothing else. Then I can draw several components and their relations and show what data I have in all components. Additionally I really like to have one more bullet point list with just my state. Let's say I have parent width here. And the type will be number, then I have here my sliders and the type will be slider interface, which basically means we are writing all properties of our state and additionally you might also want to write all types that you have, like maybe interface slider interface and it has a URL which is a string and also a title which is a string. Most importantly you start from the top and you go deeper. You don't start with some detailed work, you first need to understand your future fully and then you can work on edge cases. And it is an extremely important skill to understand how you will code it and what you need without writing code at all. After we are finished with our architecture and Excalidraw it is time to start writing code. But here are some important things. We are not focused on implementing edge cases and we don't do some premature optimization or performance improvements. 
we just need to code our feature as a skeleton, which means we are implementing the complete bare minimum or minimum valuable product. Let's say we have a component, app slider, and we can provide the, a list of our slides, also some parent widths, and that's it. Inside we render just a list of our images and arrows with some basic click events. We didn't implement our slider responsive, we didn't implement touch events for mobile, we didn't implement some edge cases like auto-scrolling or smooth animation. Only after we're finished, one by one we're adding new features. And again, we're going back to Excalidro, think about feature fully before start to write in code what variables we need, what state do we need, how it will change, and how it will be reflected in the UI. Now let's just compare it with what middle developers typically do. After receiving the feature that they need to implement, they directly jump into coding. They don't plan anything, they just start writing code. Just at the beginning of implementation, they are jumping to some nitty-gritty detail about performance optimization or just some edge case scenario which might never happen. Then, in half of the implementation, they see the architectural problem and they need to rewrite a lot of code from scratch. All these mistakes are eating lots of time and increase the complexity of the feature. What we are doing instead? Planning it accordingly, writing the bullet points, understanding data flow, our state or API calls that we need to do. We can also write down tasks from more important to less important. And we start coding only when our flow is fully locked. And two additional things that I recommend you start doing is writing your types and writing tests. Both these things look like they're eating time because you need to do them ahead, but you will get much less bugs in your features and your code will be much more stable. TypeScript will help you to find all your bugs before runtime and tests will cover all your edge cases and make sure that your feature is staying bulletproof. So here are two important things to remember. Your speed comes from the decision clarity before execution, which means you fully crystal clear understand what you need to implement before you are doing that, which leads to the process where your code becomes an output of your planning and not the exploration from the start. And this is exactly how we implement all features and projects in my middle to senior frontend bootcamp. This is why if you are serious in becoming a senior developer, check the link to it in the description under the video.